unfortunately laws are, are, are really designed for the lowest common denominator, it means that the biggest knucklehead that's gonna do the dumbest thing. There's obviously a jealousy or a, uh, a conflict. What's happening is we're sharing a, a food source now. And surfing is uh, subject to the lowbrow uh, tendencies of human nature which is um, survival of the fittest. So when a form comes along that dominates another form, the people that are subjected to dominance, dominance uh, hate the form that dominates them. The waters are just getting busier every day. More people want to enjoy the surf. And it's not so much whether it's stand-up or boogie boards or short boards or long boards. I mean, everybody has a right to use that ocean. I, I think it's, it just comes down to people respecting people in the water and just sharing. And, um, you know, having a stand-up board, you're more apt to be able to catch more waves because you have that ability on the boards. So because of that, I think, um, you know, it needs to be... You know, people need to just respect everybody in the water and just share because it's getting busier and it's only going to get more busy. The, the two forms of riding need to be allocated to different spots, which is uh, unfortunate, but I think that's the fact. And because formal division of activities is sort of a rare thing in surfing because it's a sort of unstructured activity, there's a lot of uh, angst and uh, debate and stuff going on around that. I was actually one of the first guys to get a, uh, a ticket down at Sanum. I got a $450 ticket for stand-up surfing outside of my zone. Yeah, you know, it's kind of weird, the whole um, restrictions we have at certain spots right now with stand-up paddling. It's kind of it's kind of only in my local spots, you know. San Onofre, we've got an area where you know you can't pass the line. Um, trestles, they're, they're regulating too. Initially, they just thought maybe it was a fad, wasn't going to stick around very long, and they just looked for a quick answer, so they threw us in a designated area. But with the sport growing and people pushing the limits as far as what you can surf and the boards are getting much smaller, um, I think you'll see more spots opening up, definitely. But I do have a little bit of issues when, you know, I'm surfing one to two foot trestles and the lifeguard says, you know, I can't do that. It's like, are you kidding me? It doesn't matter what I ride the wave on. It doesn't, you, I, I want to be, don't want to be told what I can, can and can't do on a wave. So it kind of pushes some buttons for me, but um, I don't think it's going to be forever. I don't see how it could be, how they could tell you what you can do on a wave. And I mean, heck, my boards I'm paddle surfing are shorter than all the guys on long boards anyway, so they can't whine like, you catch too many waves. I'm polite, let waves go. There's, there's people that are going to, going to be jerks on a long board. There's people that are going to be jerks on a stand-up board. It's not the board and the equipment, it's the rider. The ocean is for everybody. You know, and, and I always look at the Hawaiians as, as the apex of ocean people. I mean, they're the great, greatest navigators before longitude and latitude. And, 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 and their, their idea of what the ocean is meant to be is that, you know, that it's, a, it's a playground. And you can't tell people how to play on the playground. They play, anybody can play whatever game they want. It's a playground. Play how you want, where you want. Now, if you start affecting other people's play, then you gotta consider that. And, you know, that leads to something else. But at the end of the day, the ocean is free. And we're meant to be free. It's America. We're free, land of the free. It's like we're meant to have this freedom to do these things that are new and fun and exciting. And I think people need to remember that. People just need to remember that, that really it's about sharing. And you know what? The time to be serious is when it gets serious. Then it's be serious. But when it's little and you're just out there to have fun, it's about having fun. And if you can't have fun, then you need to figure out how to have fun. <laughs> I got some ideas. <laughs>